So you know those moments when you do a player review that's like eight minutes long and you spend a lot of time on it and make sure it's really good and then you forget to record. Um, but anyways, hey, what is going on guys? My name is Quinn and today I'm reviewing Inform Steven Jovetic player review. So he was in Team of the Week I think three weeks ago or something like that and he is an absolute monster. So he's from Montenegro, which is a country in, I think, southern Europe, and uh, he plays for Fiorentina, which is in the Serie A, and he is an absolute beast. So as we can see by his overall stats, he has 82 pace, 84 shooting, 78 passing, 88 dribbling, 4-star skills, 4-star weak foot, uh, he's right-footed, he is 6 feet tall, and I paid 82,000 coins for him. And, you know, those are all pretty good standard stats, and, you know, I absolutely love this guy. So, some really good benefits to him is he's got high attacking work rate, which means he's always up in the play. And that's really good and really helpful when playing a player. So, as you guys can see, we played him in a 4-2-3-1 Serie A team that I will be going into in a little bit. But playing up top, he did really well. Okay, moving on to his in-game stats. So, he has 91 ball control, which is really, really, really good. You guys can see his dribbling. He's able to weave in and out of players with ease. He has 76 crossing, but I don't really tend to cross the ball. He's usually in the middle. He's got 90 curve, 90 dribbling, 90 finishing, 77 free kick accuracy, 79 heading. You know, those stats don't really matter. 70 long passing. I think that's 86 long shots. He's got really good long shots. They actually feel probably like 97, 98. Honestly, they're immense. And, um... 93 penalties as well. He's got really talented skills at being a penalty taker, I guess you could say. And I think that's why he got his inform. I think he scored a penalty and a, another, what was it, like a free kick or something like that? Anyways, like, he's a monster. So as you guys can see, he's 22 years old. So like I said, he's uh, 6 feet tall from Montenegro. He can play striker, center forward, or cam. I've actually played a friend who has him in center mid. And um, this guy's an absolute monster. Like, I was talking to Eldenero90 on Twitter the other day, and we were just talking about how much of a beast this guy was. And, you know, his regular card is probably my favorite striker on the game to begin with. So that kind of proves the point that this player is absolutely amazing. Uh, his acceleration, I mean, it's not amazing. He's only got, I think, like 82 pace, so 83 sprint speed and 83 acceleration. So his acceleration should probably bump up. But, you know, it's, it's nothing really about that. But it's like the little things. It's like the 99 stamina, the 87 reactions, the, uh, you know, 78 strength isn't that bad for a player who's only 6 feet tall. And, you know, I just find that he just knows, like, his vision and his attacking, positioning and everything. He just seems to get into the perfect positions on the pitch and just score goals. So, you know, as you guys can see, he actually has, I think, 82 attacking position and 80 vision, which is really good. And, you know, he would make a really nice center forward, to be honest with you guys. Um, you know, but I like using him as a striker, and he gets the job done. I think now I have played about 25 games with him, and he's over a goal a game right now. He's nearly at, I think, uh, 35 or 36 goals, something like that, in the 25 games. So that kind of proves the point of him being an absolute monster. And, you know, I just really enjoy using him. And uh, there's some gameplay of him playing now, just some, like, nice shots and stuff like that. So these aren't all goals, they're just kind of nice plays and uh, some nice shooting and stuff like that. And that's the thing I really like about Steven Jovic is uh, you really feel when he's on the pitch and stuff like that. I find that he's a really complete player. Uh, he does have medium defensive work rates as well, so he does still track back. But the high attacking work rates and the 99 stamina means that he doesn't get tired that easily and he's always up in the pitch, which really helps. So like I said, I feel that you can really tell when he's on the pitch. He really likes to control the game. And I really like finding him with my midfielders and just letting him control everything. His passing stats are not amazing by any means, but they're not bad either. They really get the job done. He's able to create plays and, um, you know, he's able to score goals or he's able to make players score goals. He draws a lot of penalties and a lot of fouls as well. And, you know, the four-star skills is just an added bonus. Like, as you guys can see, I, I really do enjoy Steven Jovetic. And he's honestly, like, so far been my favorite player on FIFA 13. So... Anyways, guys, um, so that's the end of the review. So, basically, the pros for uh, Steven Jovetic are everything. No, but um, he's got four-star skills and four-star weak foot, which is really good. I really enjoy having a player with four-star skills. And the four-star weak foot is just an added bonus. So, you know, he doesn't really have a weak foot, I guess you could say. Um, it would be nice if he, has f if he had five-star, but, of course, um, you know, four-star is still really good and stuff like that. His attacking, like, just attacking play, I guess you could say, 
his like vision and his hacking positioning and his work rates and everything just make him an absolutely perfect player. He always seems to be in the perfect position to score goals and stuff like that. And that is why I love him. So yeah, I would definitely say he's worth the 80,000 coins uh, that he's going for right about now. Um, you know, if you guys are watching this video in a little while though, I honestly wouldn't pay probably over 100 and maybe 25k for him. Just because of the fact that I feel that uh, you could get a better player. Like for example, I used Inform Palacio for a couple games today because a friend had him. And I got to try him out, and he was really immense. I still like Jovetic better, um, you know, for clinicalness, but, you know, it's just kind of one of those things. So, anyways, guys, uh, that's the end of the review. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and, um, you know, just please leave a rating. And I think the next player we're going to be reviewing is Inform Lucas Podolski, because I just picked the one up today. So, uh, have a nice day, guys, and just remember to click the subscribe button and leave a like. Oh, and also, guys, um, if you guys are GFX artists or anything like that, could you let me know? Because I'm looking for a new background for the new YouTube layout. So just let me know if you guys have any skills with that. And other than that, have a nice day. I will see you later. Peace.